the world has been asking the Washington Redskins forever to change their name. And we know this. This has been going on long before what's going on today. They've been asking for years. And now they're, I, as far as I understand, they're going to change it. So I don't understand why, like, now Amazon is, uh, you know, Amazon's pulling all Redskin merchandise from Amazon. Yeah. I don't yeah. understand he's changing it. Why are you pulling the Yo, merchandise? Let me ask you a question. It's a bigger question. Do you think that any company or any organization has the right? I mean, they can pull their advertising if they want. Has a right to tell people, a fan of a team or an organization, what name they should have. Do you think they have the right to do that? I mean, no. I, I mean, you know how I feel about the free, freedom of speech. But at the same time, I mean, it's like what he, he'll go broke. I mean, I, he, all his advertisers left. And nobody's selling his merchandise. He'll go broke. Literally, yeah. you could change the name, or two years from now there'll be no football team in Washington. I mean, right. So, uh, again, we'll go. We'll go. We'll go back to this again for one visit. Real quick, second. So the Dallas Cowboys are Americans team. There's so, a lot of animal. There's a lot of. <laughs> there's a lot of animal activist rights out there, mm -hmm. and Cowboys are known for driving cattle or slaughtering cattle. Mm -hmm. They're known for breaking horses and, and, and taking these wild horses and breaking them and riding them. They're known for shooting at the Native Americans. This is what they're known for. Mm -hmm. So when the animal activists go down to the Cowboys and say, hey, listen, we're going to put a lot of pressure on you. on You've you got to change your name. Is, is that what we're coming to right now? It seems that way. It's I'm sad. Kidding. But I mean, you know, it, I, see, that's where that's where for me. I look at companies like Amazon. I look at companies like Nike and all the, I look at Walmart, Target, Dick's Sporting Goods. Those are companies who have said they're going to remove the Redskins merchandise. And to me, they're hypocrites. Yeah. I'm going to tell you why they're hypocrites. Good. Now they're backing, they're, they're backing, they're pulling their backing. FedEx, another hypocrite. Right. Pulling their backing from the Redskins now because of where the country's at. But they didn't care to pull it from the Redskins back when the Native Americans wanted it done ten years ago, and, and some of and a lot of them didn't want it done. No, oh. so right. so it's like, wait a second, do you really believe in the Native Americans' cause here? Amazon, FedEx, Nike, uh, Dick's Sporting Goods, or is it just because there's so much going on with the BLM movement that you're afraid to be on the other side of the fence because you didn't care? Eight years ago, when there was no BLM movement, but the Native Americans were screaming then. Do you want me to take a step further or you want to leave it there? No, we can leave it there. We already know they're we already know they're uh we already know they don't really care what the name is. That's well, well, I, 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 funny. <laughs> I've got to take it one step further, just for a second. All right, Ed. Nike is gonna pull the merchandise, but who makes Nike sneakers? The Chinese, Chinese children, we know China. this. Chinese children That's make. It. I think it's hilarious when they. What, what, what does the Chinese government? What does the Chinese government do? They take Muslims and they put them in concentration camps. So I mean, so are we gonna are we gonna take, you know, Nike's opinion that seriously? And this is what I'm talking about. But for me, like I had to, I haven't supported Nike for a long time, and I won't because I don't like Nike. I've even told Matty Ice this. I said I, he wanted some merchandise. I said, I'll get you Adidas. I don't yeah. support Nike. I don't. Yeah. But I'm talking about, so all of these companies, the only reason Amazon's doing it, I, I, I think that people get fooled too easy in society. Like yeah. people are out there right now and they're thinking to themselves, you know, I respect Amazon. I respect Nike, Walmart, Target, Dick's Sporting Goods for removing the Redskins. Don't, don't, because they don't care about your movement. They don't care about the BLM. They don't care about the Native Americans. Those are facts. And money. you know why you know they don't care about them? They only care about money. Because the right. Native Americans wanted that name removed eight years ago, 10 years ago, 12 years ago. And you didn't see any of these companies back down then because you know why? It wasn't going to cost them any money. But That's now right. that the Native Americans have brought it up again, and it goes along with the BLM movement. And now they're afraid, well, if we don't, people will stop buying our stuff. Exactly. That's all they care about.
Exactly. When you go to sleep at night, don't tell yourself, oh, Amazon cares about my cause. No, they don't. Amazon doesn't even care about their employees. How many of their employees did they fire because they felt unsafe going to work with the coronavirus? Amazon don't give a crap about any of you. They and you know something? Money. The only team, the only team that's kind of safe from all this is the Green Bay Packers, right? Because the fans own the team. You know, the fans buy stock in the Green Bay Packers. They ain't worried about anybody, any sponsorship like that. They buy stock. Green Bay owns the Green Bay Packers. Mm -hmm. So if you don't like the you don't like the Packers for some reason, the fans are gonna say, We love the Packers. They're trying so to get I didn't even bring this up with you because I don't want to see you get all crazy on the air, but they're trying to get rid of the Irish mascot, the Notre Oh Dame. yeah, they've been they've been talking about that. Yeah. I don't even know what did he do. All he does he's just an Irish guy. Yeah, he's a midget, you know, so they he's a dwarf, you know, he's a leprechaun. I mean, you know, hey. And Nike's hypocritical anyway, because Nike uh, Nike supports not only not only has children making their stuff, they've also supported people who have come out on both sides, white and black, with racist yeah. stuff, and they still. Yeah, them. So I don't I don't care about Nike, and if it wasn't for Amazon and Walmart and Target giving you good prices, I wouldn't shop there anyway. So yeah. it's all about the prices. So small but, business, guys. Small all business. All of a sudden, the Redskins are a problem for them. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I understand the Redskins should change their name if it bothers that many people. Because, you know, you ask the question, well, should they change them? Listen, if it's going to offend millions of people, it's just, it's just the name, man. They could be the Washington Warriors. I mean, that's Definitely. Cool. Definitely. But, but I, I just find the pulling the merchandise part laughable because they're acting like this is a new issue. Like, well, you know, it came up. Well, what I'm trying to say, Jim, and I'm not the principles when I'm talking about, if a big company can or a big organization can tell you what to do, and listen, there's there's 300 million people, 300 million people in this country, and if 1 million is offended by it, there's still 299 million that may not be. So anyway, so Dallas Cowboys, I'm telling you, you're next. You're going to have to change your name to the Dallas Stars my or something. Issue, let me tell you something. My issue with the Dallas Cowboys, since you brought it up, is not – the name. I don't care about their name. I don't because Cowboys also do other good things for the country that there's a lot of stuff that, that help produce I agree. other stuff. So I don't care what they call themselves. You know, they're only to me, they're only America's team in their eyes. You know, I'm a Giants fan. I could care less. about the Cowboys. Well, we'll talk about how they did that one day. But yeah. I, I will tell you the bigger issue I have with the Cowboys since you brought this up. The bigger issue I have with the Cowboys is their players. I have an issue with their players. And before I, I, more this, I just want to admit, uh, Alexander mentioned that Adam Scheffner just reported a couple minutes ago that Washington is planning no Native American imagery. So they are changing the name. But anyway, the and he bought five. The guy who owns the Redskins bought five different naming rights. One of them is the Warriors. So sure. anyway, I'll tell you my bigger issue with the Dallas Cowboys. It's the players. My biggest issue is, is Jerry Jones. Let me, but let me, let me, well, it's all tied, and it ties in. I, 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 My issue is with the players of the Dallas Cowboys because it's funny how people are about a cause until it hurts their wallet. Then they're not about a cause because I have seen Drew Brees state he would not, he wanted to not kneel and he got vilified. I have seen Dak Prescott come out and say he doesn't plan to kneel because he doesn't believe in it. And when Kaepernick was kneeling, the Jones family came out and said, anyone who kneels will not play for the Cowboys. Correct. And ever since all this stuff's gone down lately, Jerry Jones has been nowhere to be found. He's yep. hiding in the ocean somewhere. But yet, finally today, a Dallas Cowboy player came out, not Ezekiel Elliott, not Cooper, not Dak, not the guys making all that cheese. A guy came out and said, I need to know where my owner stands on this. Yeah, He's nowhere to be found. But those big ticket guys, so I don't want to see Ezekiel Elliott or Dak Prescott or Amari Cooper hold a press conference in two days and to declare how they're all about the movement. Because no, yeah. you're, you're about your pocket. Because if you're about the movement, how could you rightfully look us in the face and look the people in the face and say that you care about the movement, but – you're willing to go play for somebody who said you ain't kneeling here, buddy. So and, and listen, there's 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 both sides of that argument about kneeling too. 
So I, I'm, I'm not going to get into that. What I don't like about Jerry Jones is Jerry Jones gets too involved in the team, the running of the team. I mean, and now well, he's hiding. He was in the bunker with Trump. Right, he's, exactly. I can't find him. So I mean, I mean, this guy. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say he's he's bad at drafting or even signing free agents. This man, this man does a decent job because he's GM with his son. But as far as the daily operations or coming out every game after the game is over, whether they win or lose, and acting like he's the one that won and he's the one that's going to make changes. I'm going to make changes. I'm and when they lose and we every game this man comes out. He's on the sidelines constantly, you know? So how can a coach, and I can't wait till McCarthy gets this. I mean, everything's peaches and cream right now. Has it not amazed you that Jerry Jones yet hasn't tried to coach? I think he wants to. <laughs> Let me tell you, I'll coach. <laughs> I think he really wants to, but I don't think he's allowed to. I don't think the owners will allow that to happen. But, I mean, how can you, when Mike McCarthy starts doing the games and Jerry Jones is nipping at his heels, but in a nice way, all the time, How's he going to handle that? Will he handle it any better? Jimmy Johnson, gone. Uh, Bill Parcells, winning, gone. Can't, don't want anybody that has a brighter star than he has. He is in charge, and he makes sure everybody knows it. And that's why Jason Garrett did so bad as a head coach there. It's he not because the man is dumb. The, it's not the man's dumb. The man's one of the one of the best offensive coordinators in the league. But he's the one. Jerry Jones came down and told him, you're not offensive coordinator no more. This guy over here is. So, I mean, this guy is an intrusive, intrusive uh, 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 thing that's inside the Dallas Cowboys all the time. And that's why the Dallas Cowboys can't get it together. It's, it's a disaster. And I'd like to see, you know, uh, Alexander mentioned that uh, Dantari Poe was the one who spoke up. I'd like to see more players speak up. I mean, college players have had the guts to speak up. And say, and their whole life is on the line because not only you know these guys don't play college football, they don't go to the pros. You know, not so a good shot. Guys, yeah. guys who are putting who haven't gotten a dime in their pocket yet, they're putting their whole future on the line and saying, "I'm not playing until this school makes it right." Until this right. school doesn't. These are kids risking throwing away any chance they have to make money to stand up for something they believe in and the rich Dallas Cowboy players cannot speak up because Lord yeah. forbid you don't play for the Cowboy. There are other teams you can go play for. Trust me, plenty of people would like you, Cooper, or plenty of people would like Zeke. You don't need to be in Dallas. Speak up. Force the hand. I, I haven't, Did Jerry Jones kidnap them all and hide them? No. No, I'm telling you, Jerry Jones is involved in every aspect from who's sweeping the hallway in the stadium. That man is involved in every aspect of that team, and he's like he's like the 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 uh, the president of 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 his little country there, and oh, the king, I should say. That's what this guy is. I feel like he's kidnapped them all and hidden hid them somewhere. 